What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. I'm once again joined by Tyler. And in this video, we want to discuss uh, where Dark Road, Kingdom Hearts Dark Road, where it's going to go and how we believe it's going to lead to Birth by Sleep 2. Now, we've talked a lot about that in general, right? We've talked about a Birth by Sleep 2. We've actually talked about a Dream Drop Distance 2. Um, we, in yesterday's video, we talked about Kingdom Hearts Dark Road, formerly Project Xehanort. So like I said in yesterday's video, we're going to be covering it more and more as we get more details, too, um, after mid-February. February, we'll be discussing it as well, and then when the game comes out, we'll do it uh, as well there. But in yesterday's video, Tyler talked basically about what he thought the game was going to cover, right? Where it was going to follow Xehanort, and including the Master of Masters, and I guess a logical question, especially with somebody who seems to have this planned out as much as Nomura, you have to wonder what comes after it and where will that game, because you could look at Remind and where you could see that the path to a Xehanort specific game from Remind. So the question is, where will this Dark Road game leave off? Where will it end? And then where will the next game pick up and why we believe that game is Birth by Sleep 2? So Tyler, we've talked about Birth by Sleep 2. We talked about Dark Road. Uh, how do you think those two games are going to connect at the end? end of this mobile game well i don't know if it will be necessarily the end of kingdom hearts dark road because it's kind of you know there's not a lot of details right now on if it's a only like a couple hour game if it's going to be a game that is similar to union cross that kind of like keeps continuing over the years and they keep doing like these updates to it so it's it's kind of you know i don't know where this game or what this game is going to be like i kind of have a feeling that it's going to be more like Union Cross, but I'm not quite sure. I also think that it'll be like Union Cross, yet not as long as Union Cross. So you could take that. I'm going to be as I'm going to be as vague as they are with the with the detail announcement after the middle of of February for the details of Dark Road. So I'll be very vague as well. But here's what I do think. I think Birth by Sleep, and you know we've we've had that video. You can check out that video. I think Birth by Sleep Volume Two is next. And yes, there's going to be people saying that they already did Volume Two. We talk about that in that video, so check that out. Uh, but I do think, vo- or sorry, I do think that Birth by Sleep Volume Two is going to be the next game. I don't think it's going to be until I, originally I thought it was going to be maybe late 2020. I'm now I'm thinking like first half of 2021. So I would say possibly in the fall or winter of 2020. I wouldn't be shocked if there is an update or this new like story. Um, that's like brought into Kingdom Hearts Dark Road that will kind of lead to the announcement of Birth by Sleep Volume 2. And here's why I think Dark Road has a lot to do, mainly, like not not so much Kingdom Hearts 4, it will, but I think it has mainly to do with Birth by Sleep Volume 2. And here's why it actually has to do with the characters themselves. Um, We can't forget that Ven is from the Age of Fairy Tales. Um, that has to do with the Keyblade War and, and the Foretellers and all of those characters. What other character do we know that was introduced recently has to do with the Foretellers, the Master of Masters? How does that connect to Ven? Well, who do we know uh, kind of like snagged up Ven and created Venetus, the dark half of Ven, uh, Xehanor, who apparently was Xehanort's kind of like rogue master. Apparently it was the Master of Masters as it was revealed in the uh, cutscene that we find in Remind. So I guess what I'm saying is when we look at that, and I'll I'll expand on it more in this video too, but I guess when we look at the characters of simply, literally just Ven, Young Xanar, the Master of Masters, and even the Foretellers, they're all connected, um, very much so that it makes sense that it would lead to Birth by Sleep because uh, as we all know, or Birth by Sleep too, as we all know, that Ven, Terra, and Aqua, those are the main characters of Birth I Sleep. It'll likely always be that way. And I'm fine with that. I really like those characters a lot. Can't wait to see more of them. Can't wait to play as them again. Um, but, so here's why I think that makes sense. We can't forget the Kingdom Hearts 3 epilogue. That's a very important scene when we, obviously, we learn that Zigbar is actually Lushu. He brings um, the, the Foretellers all together at the Keyblade Graveyard again. Who, the ancient Keyblade War, the Keyblade War, and the Age of Fairy Tales are all connected. So it's interesting that obviously the Foretellers show up at the um, aftermath of the Keyblade War. Um, so anyway, they all show, show up from the world lines that they were in. And that's very important because that obviously has to do with Kingdom Hearts 4. We see Erica say, hey, you know, I heard of this brand new game. And he sets up this new game where it's essentially Sora 
uh, and he, it seems like he's going to be facing off against these foretellers. But anyway, having those foretellers be brought into essentially the present from the ancient times now to the present um, has to do with Kingdom Hearts 4. But again, because they're part of that Age of Fairy Tales, and we know that Ven was part of that Age of Fairy Tales, I think there's going to be a connection there. We know that Aqua Terra Ven are going into the realm of darkness. Now, this is also important to what I'm going to be saying in a minute. Now, Aqua Terra Ven are going into the realm of darkness to try to find any clues they can to try to save Sora. We now know that there may be a little threat of the foretellers. Because we, we, we don't know if they're good, they're bad. We don't know really what. But it seems like, again, from that, that game that Erica sets up, seems like that they're going to be facing off against the Guardians. That's my opinion. You might share the same. You might disagree. I don't know. Actually, let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with that. But they go into the realm of darkness. Now, I think that's interesting because, obviously, the Master of Masters, when he gave... Um, young Zane or that cloak that allows him to go into the realm of darkness and he allows him to you know go into all these different worlds and he checks out all these different worlds and that is uh, I'm obviously referencing that remind scene that has to do because you basically go through the realm of darkness and that lets you just kind of pass through so that you can get to these worlds a little bit better it's almost like a black hole in a way. but they can definitely tie some things in with the realm of darkness for both Birth by Sleep, obviously, and this Dark Roads game. Maybe in Birth by Sleep 2, when they're in the realm of darkness, they're going to find some things that maybe connects to young Xanart. Maybe even Master Masters trained young Xanart at times in the realm of darkness. Maybe they're going to find the, the, you know, the trio, the Birth by Sleep trio. Maybe they're going to find some things in there. That's a possibility to connect it. But the real way I feel that they're going to connect it, and why, is who has... A lot to do with Birth by Sleep. Undoubtedly, Xehanort. I mean, he literally ruins all three of their characters' lives. So to not connect them when you have a Xehanort game coming out, and obviously, no, he's not Master Xehanort, but he's on that path to become Master Xehanort, how could you not bring or tie back in or, or bring up Xehanort in Birth by Sleep Volume 2? Of course you're going to because, you know, Terra's going to feel bad that all those things happened, that he basically, he succumbed to the darkness, and, and Master Xehanort was able to take over his body, and it trapped Aqua into the realm of darkness. Like, it's just a never-ending, you know, it's like a lot of guilt on kind of all of their part. Um, so, you know, and, and Ven would be guilty due to Vanitas, and, and basically losing to, he beats Vanitas, but it caused him to fall asleep, uh, and puts Aqua on this one journey, and so it's just a never-ending, basically it all ties back to Xehanort. So they're never they're, that feeling will always be there. The fact that I think that game, I mean, there's no question it's going to happen. It's just whether or not it's the next game or not. I think it is a console game. If that's your next console game and the game that you have before that has to do with Xehanort, how do you not connect that? Those characters totally have everything to do, do with each other. Master of Masters has to do with the Age of Fairy Tales. The Foretellers have to do with the Age of Fairy Tales. Ven has to do with the Age of Fairy Tales. Master of Masters in the secret ending of Kingdom Hearts 3. Obviously, he has to do, and he's doing a little box with his hands, and then he makes a heart for the moon. So Master of Masters obviously has a big role in the new saga for Kingdom Hearts 4, right? So again, he's connected to the timeline that Ven is. Who else is? The foretellers are connected to the timeline that Ven is. Why is that important? Because I guarantee you Birth by Sleep will delve even deeper into what was happening with Ven and how he got into this age, you know, the birth by sleep age, um, and all of those different things. And it'll, it'll lead to new questions and, you know, obviously more questions, more answers, that type of deal. Usually there's more questions than answers, um, but it'll lead into that. So there, I, I just feel that those two games are very, very much connected. Um, the characters, again, they have a lot of connections just simply, again, because of Ven himself. Um, I think it, I really do think it makes sense. I wouldn't be shocked if they do a little tie in and then we get like a teaser trailer for Birth, Birth by Sleep Volume 2. And that's how they kind of start that little, you know, that, that marketing campaign or the campaign for the next console game, which I, I really truly believe to be Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Volume 2. Um, totally makes sense to use Xehanort. He has connections, obviously, now to the. Ancient Keyblade War, Master of Masters. Master of Masters has connections to the Foretellers. 
Xanar has connections to Ven, to Aqua Terra. He, basically, he's the median. So, you know, it could go both ways. He, his character kind of can flow in both directions because he's, he's so interconnected with them, uh, apparently. Um, so I think it makes a lot of sense. That actually makes me more excited to even, I wasn't really going to necessarily play Dark Roads, but now it kind of makes me want to play it because I'm curious as to, you know, am I right? Am I on the right track? I think that I am. Uh, I kind of want to be able to experience that. Um, so it makes me more interested in this game because I feel like Xehanor is going to become a more complex character. For a while, I thought he was going to go away after Kingdom Hearts 3. I actually don't think it's going to go away. I think he's going to have a lot to do with Kingdom Hearts 4 now, um, simply because of his connection with the Master of Masters. So very, very interesting connections that you know are just kind of like being made in my head. Hopefully, they made sense to you guys. Um, definitely let us know in the comments because maybe I'm completely off track or maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm saying some things that you're like, hey, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. And you guys are really awesome with taking some of my ideas and going even further. And I read them and I'm like, you know what? And, and you guys, if you're watching and I've responded like, will you be my new best friend? Because some of you guys, seriously, you guys are awesome with your comments, the knowledge that you guys have and put out there. It's really, really cool. So when they say reconnect Kingdom Hearts, I feel like that's our job to do that, not theirs. So keep doing that. Leave those comments because I love to read them. Absolutely. You guys have been truly awesome this entire uh, path that we've taken so far back to Kingdom Hearts 3 and now Remind. So let us know, like Tyler said, in the comments below, what do you think of this specific uh, theory? What do you think about Dark Road in general? Uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, we're going to be covering uh, this game more and more um, as the weeks and months progress. So as soon as we get more information on this game, uh, we will be doing more stuff on it. We also have other videos kind of left over uh, you know these ideas they're still popping into our heads on Remind as well as Dark Road so still videos every single day. Um, we're getting towards the end of very very consistent Kingdom Hearts stuff but we're still going to have Kingdom Hearts stuff on our channel you know indefinitely going forward. Like I said in a few weeks time uh, even we'll be uh, talking more about Dark Road once we get more information on it. So loads of Kingdom Hearts stuff make sure you guys are subscribed and have that bell icon hit and we'll see you guys on tomorrow's video.